what is good everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm amber and today i have a super simple quick video for you all today i will be finally washing my hair i got my hair straightened and dyed three weeks ago and it is time to wash when it comes to a routine i don't get my hair straightened that often but last year when i straightened my hair when it was time to wash i did the aztec clay mask and so that is what i will be doing today and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and share my channel but other than that let's get right into it so like i said i'm going to be doing the aztec clay mask which you've probably seen before along with the apple cider vinegar um to create the mixture so i'm gonna go ahead and do that just got in town then i won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky ruin my vibe and usually i don't do this often but since recruiting this is what the mask is looking like you want it to be like a mud texture like not too thick and not too um loose when it comes to the measurements you really just have to eyeball it but it should be about this sort of consistency i think i'm a little nervous you know that feeling you just don't know color always looks different straight versus curly and i have this stripe <laughs> i don't want it to be all ski but we're just we're gonna hope for the best no damage right now i'm just I'm trying to put it in sections because when I do my curly hair, um, I do it in sections. So I'm going to try to do that now. I'm going to start just by spraying the section. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and wet this whole half and then apply the mixture. So <laughs> let's get into it. Is it option? Use you on you. I know it's not going to revert immediately. So as you see, like the ends are still pretty stringy, but I still, I think they're going to re still revert back fine. It's just, it takes time. I'm just trying to get the section completely soaked. Let me lay a great time on you. Don't hesitate, no, don't you. Just say you will, will. So the first half is finished. As you see, mostly everything has curled up except some like stringy ends in the front. But I'm not going to call it damage just yet because my hair in the front is looser anyway. So we'll see what happens. I remember the last time I straightened my hair when I did the same process. I also added some conditioner while I was um, spraying it with water and everything. So I did that to this side. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same to this side. And then it'll be time to apply the mask. But here's a quick, you know, comparison between my straight and my Curly. Hoping that, like I said, that these curl up after I finish the process and that everything on this side curls up the same. Like I said, I got my hair straightened three weeks ago and I did not apply any heat, any extra heat um, throughout these three weeks. Not a blow dryer, anything. I just wrapped it and left it alone we'll see what happens it feels okay i'm still feeling good so let's keep going applying the mask is super easy i'm just going to take smaller sections from each larger section and then use my hands and make sure it's evenly coated and then 
apply more water as I apply the mask. And I'm going to be very generous with the mask as well. Like, if I have to make more, I will. But I just want to make sure every strand of my hair is coated. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let you me this cloud. It's all in the sky. to do this mask as you see mostly everything is reverted back like i said before there are some areas that are taking a little longer to revert and then there's some areas like on this side like here that i think is either heat or color damage um but either way for the most part everything is reverted so that's good right now i'm going to let the mask sit for about 20 minutes or so till it gets like pretty hard then i'm going to rinse it out in the shower and then follow it up with miel rosemary mint strengthening hair mask i never used this before but it's supposed to add you know moisture back into your hair and this the clay mask does the same so hopefully i'm not adding too much moisture but since i did get my hair colored and like this area is was bleached and all of that i feel like my hair does need a lot of moisture so i think it'll be fine okay i know i'm looking a little crazy right now but we are all washed um there's no product on my hair right now and like i said before there are some spots where it's like super loose so that's could be either heat damage or color damage and then some places on this side where it's like obviously heat damage which is disappointing but there's really nothing you can do about that so i'm just gonna go ahead and get into styling so today i'm going to be doing a wash and go and i'm literally only going to be using one product and that is the extreme gel okay so i went ahead and did the first three sections and the back definitely looks better than the front because the back there is little to no damage versus the front the ends are pretty like loose like my like i said before my the front of my hair is already looser but now they're like super loose so we'll see how it dries taking my spray bottle and re-soaking it taking a generous amount of gel first i just make sure it's like coated throughout the section and then i'll go through and rake like this i'll do the praying hands method too so just palms together and I'll just go back and forth between those two and then I typically don't do this uh, but since I do have some damage I am taking my 
dimming brush in some places and just uh, raking that through as well. I've never really had bad heat damage before, so this is definitely a first. I've had damaged hair, but when I've since I've been natural, I've never really had like any major heat damage, and this feels. It feels like major, but also it could be worse. So we'll see how it dries. Last kid, and by the way, just got in town. And I won't let humanist clouds all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. And usually I don't do this often. But since recruiting, Like I said, I only used the gel. I didn't use any cream or anything like that. So I'm going to let this air dry for the rest of the day, then defuse it some, and then come back tomorrow and show you the final look. Good morning. Here are my final results. But like I said, I went ahead and let it air dry, and then I diffused it just to um, make sure it was completely dry. And then I went in with the concentrator and just stretched it out and this is how it's looking and i'm not mad about it okay like like i said i do have some damage but some areas like right here it could just be you know i it just needs some some more extra attention extra love and they'll go back to normal uh someone suggested i do a protein treatment so for my next wash i've tried that i did clip just a little bit because i just the damage it's not for me so even though some parts i'm not sure if it's really damaged or not i just clipped a little bit just so it look more even all around my stripe still looks good it doesn't feel dry it feels really moisturized besides these you know few strands in the front i think it turned out really good so i'm super excited about that very happy to have my natural curls back other than that i hope you all enjoyed this video of me going from straight to curly as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and share my channel and until next time peace love and beauty bye